Hello everybody and welcome to Real and Virtual Outdoors. On today's episode we're going to be fishing the St. Lawrence River on Bassmasters 2022. We have the uh, Bassmasters spinning rod and reel combo. Uh, the rod and reel combo come in the uh, deluxe package. You got it for free and uh, the uh, line we have on here is 12 pound orange braid if you didn't get the deluxe you'll have to buy it in the uh, DLC or earn the rod through tackle points and the tackle points take a while to get built up those are earned by catching fish in the game we're gonna throw this uh, lure down the bank here it's called the yellow uh, it's called the docker yellow perch it's a lipless crankbait. We're going to pitch it down the bank here and see if we can't hang into a fish or two. <clears throat> Get the drag adjusted. You can do that by pushing up and down on the uh, control pad uh, portion of your PlayStation remote. You can also speed up the reel speed and I'm on a snag so we're gonna have to work this loose okay that's pretty simple to get that off that's something new in the game this year the snagging uh, at times it can be a little annoying but it does bring a real aspect of fishing to the game it happens uh, but it's not too hard to get unsnagged I'll try to show you how to get unstagged here maybe in this video kind of give you a little help with it that's a dry throw wasn't it throw back towards these rocks a little bit closer uh, I just got this game I haven't played it a whole lot I've had about two days of play time I was trying to get some tackle points built up where I could get a little bit more lures before I started doing too many videos uh, or even going live um, what I've seen so far I've liked I'm about two months behind on the release date I have a little experience with dovetail games in the past I wanted to uh, give them an opportunity to get some of the bugs worked out of it uh, in the last two releases that they've had on their games they've had some bug issues and I knew that was probably going to be an issue for this game so I want to give some time to get the bugs worked out of it you have these games that's uh, big files big downloads uh, and you got so many graphics and so many features you're gonna have bugs I know some people get upset with that there's a fish on some people get upset with that you know and they frustrated with it but dovetails pretty good about getting most of the kinks out of it and I enjoy playing their games so this is a uh, 12 pound line and get a bigger fish on here we got to kind of play them out you push them too much and they will break off uh, if you look on the left side of the screen there you'll see a green and red column kind of goes up and down that's my line tension uh, kind of tells me keeping it in the green area whether I'm playing the fish correctly or I got too much pressure on him This is a pike. I'm going to play him out and get him in. He's not a bass, but he's tackle points. He's putting up a pretty good fight. These pike are fun to catch. Uh, give you a look at the lure here exactly what I caught him on when we get him in I 
Got this ladder line. Have to sort of play him out. He's going to make a run now. Earned the in-game trophy for that one. 24 pounds, 8 ounces. Tiger Muskie. I thought that was a pike. It's a muskie. That's the first muskie for me. One knocker, yellow perch is the name of the lure. It's lipless crankbait. I got 143 tackle points for that fish. That'll help buy some lures. That's what it's about. Let's get that back in there and see if we can't hit on something else. Touch on a little bit about the game and some of the things that I enjoy about it. I really enjoy uh, the opportunity that it gives you to catch other species. I could go out and fish for a certain fish in this game. Uh, even though it's a bass driven game uh, I could go out and fish for crappie and, and uh, all of these muskies like I just threw in on and, and uh, target specific species I enjoy that uh, I think that's a fun aspect of the game uh, you get into the bass fishing portion of it you're gonna uh, be chasing the bass during the college series and pro staff series and the battle royale uh, features on the game but I really like just to free fish I like to go out decide what I want to fish for that day and uh, take that kind of tackle and lures and go after it so we're gonna move I'm gonna pick this up after we move Okay, everybody, we have moved significantly on down the river here. We're back. We're going to try a different lure for a while. We're going to pitch in a... Uh, this is a 5-inch uh, silver spoon gizzard shad. Uh, same rod and reel bass masters, rod and reel combo and uh, 20 pound line so we're gonna throw this spoon out here and see if we can't hang on to something around this grass I have not fished this river yet I have no idea where to fish or where to start we're kind of doing this in the blind uh, you know, a lot of times we when I do these videos I edit a lot of it out you just have a lot of dead time you know you're not catching fish one right after another uh, these games are generated to be as realistic as possible uh, they're not uh, 80s video games where you just pitch it out there and the fish just jumps on it you gotta, gotta work for them a little bit I think that's what makes it so interesting or at least it does for me uh, you might fish an area and come up dry. So that makes it an interesting aspect of the, and fun for me. <clears throat> we seeing some fish there on the fish finder. Top left hand corner of your screen moving left to right. speed up the real pace just a little bit you can adjust the real speed by R1 or R or L1 on your uh, PlayStation remote R1 to speed it up L1 to lower it your drag is uh, operated by the uh, mouse or the uh, push pad on your remote up or down push pad portion of it
Nice fish. Fish on. Right in front of that grass patch. Not very big, but he's a fish. A small walleye. About two pounds. Don't take up much time looking at him. We're gonna get back going here. A couple of big fish down there if I can get them to hit. That fish finder is showing some bigger bodies. Uh, there's a fish. That was a perfect hook set. Another small walleye. Let's switch over to that um, yellow perch for a minute. The one knocker. This is one that's on 12 pound uh, braid. There's one. That's a good hit there. <clears throat> that rod bowed on that one. He, I pulled back on him and it put the bend to it. Let's see what we got. I like this orange line. Uh, Makes it a little easier to see. We're gonna try the landing feature. And I missed it. We'll try it again here. Yes. I got it. That's a bass. Landing features. Pretty good. And there's the one knocker yellow perch again. 87 tackle points for that one. Um, the orange line is uh, very visible. It uh, does wonders for these 50 year old eyes. Gotta keep track of where my lure is at. It helps. There's a fish. That was another perfect strike. Okay, note to self. Continue to fish around the grass. This is a big fish here. He's really pulling. I don't know what this is. If this is a bass, Really fully. Wow. I don't think this is a bass. One reason is I had that gum trolling motor activated. That's twice I've done that. Alright, let's put a little pressure on him. 
See if I can't get him turned around here. This is gonna be a good fight on 12 pound test. <clears throat> if this is a bass, this is gonna be a trophy fish. Boy, every time I try to put a little pressure on him, he comes back at me. We just gonna have to play this one out. That may be a that's some sort of pike or musky. That's not even a bass. A musky. Dovetail Games did a real good job with this game as a fish. Uh, I'm a huge fan of their fishing games. Uh, this fish here is not fighting like he's a bass either. I don't know what he is. Whatever it is, pretty good size. He's staying down. So you have to play him out. Just gonna have to play him out. on in here. Fight time on this is ridiculous. Ooh, he finally decided to quit. That is a musky. Yep. 148 tackle points. Fish weighed 24 pounds, 8 ounces. Alright, we're going to move on down the river. See if we can't find some bass. We'll be back with you. Okay, everybody, we have moved down the river a little further. A little pocket back here. Some grass on it. We're going to do a little fan casting here with this one knocker yellow perch. See if we can't catch one or two more here before we end the day. There's going to be some more of these type of videos coming soon. I'm just now getting started on it. I had been as a snag. Okay, so let's illustrate the snag. Uh, you want to push the reel in button until the hook and the weight on the left side of the screen comes together and then just tick the rod tip, pull it back just a little bit. 
you could rewind that and watch it if you uh, just reel down on it slowly until those two uh, hook and weight illustration on the left side of your screen come together and turn green pull back on the rod with the right stick on the PlayStation remote at the same time it's green you can come right on out That was a fish. Ooh, I missed him. Ugh. Well, I committed to sin I've been talking about not having a tight line on the drop. That was a good strike. Not a good hook set either. I'm having a little bit of difficult time here getting them hooked in the right spot. That is a that is some kind of salmon or something there. Trout. Can't quite tell yet. First one I've caught. That's not a bass. I may not get him. We've got a slightly hooked fish here. Could come off any second. I'd like to get him in, get a look at him. That'd be a nice way to close her out. Come on, big boy. I need them tackle points. Come on in here. Get yourself in here. He ain't quite done yet. We may not get this joker. Come on now. Come on. He's shaking that head. We got him. It's a good looking fish. 26 pounds. 140 tackle points. Okay, everybody. We're going to close it out. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being a part of the Real and Virtual Outdoors family. Please hit that like button and that notification bell so you know when I drop a video. Thank you. <laughs>